Howdy guys, it's Luke at Luke's APS and in this video I'm going to show you how to make lovely quick trees and basing your tabletop world houses. I'll catch you after this. So guys, I'm not going to chat too long. I'm just going to let you know that Geek Gaming are having a summer 15% off sale. So if you've not bought any of my base readies or any of my scenics yet, do check the link below and you get 15% off orders over £35. So check the links out and fill your pockets. Catch you after the video. Right, so first off, we're going to be using the base as EPVC um, or Foamex, whatever you want to call it. This is in my Amazon affiliate links below if you would like to buy any. Um, it's a extruded plastic with plastic either side of it. It's very strong, it doesn't warp, and uh, it's a great basing material. Um, I just trace out the sort of size that I want to do it. I'm not going to be going overly sized with the base for this uh, house. One, because the customer uh, who I'm doing it for has got a modular board uh, system and he just wants the house basing so it's got some sort of cobbles and things around it so it sort of blends into his board. Again, the only problem with modular boards is there's no other sort of city street or anything based on that board. It is just grass, so I'm going to have to put cobbles around the house um, and then just flop the edges so wherever he puts it, it sort of blends in. But that's what we've got to do. So first off, cut it out, slow passes, and then bevel it so you can bevel it down to the table edge. This is 5 mil Foamex, and all I do is I cut round with a knife and give it a quick sand. Now for doing the uh, cobblestone textures or brick textures, what I'm going to be doing in that, I use some DAS. Now mix in some PVA glue into a couple of different pieces of it and get this to like a nice dough consistency. It does take some doing, so take your time and get it in. Once you've got it in, roll it out flat across the whole base uh, or as much as the base as you need to. Smooth it out with some water and then I'm using the green stuff uh, bricks roller uh, to get the textures and I'm just going in straight lines across um, so it puts the texture in. Then I press the house to sort of put the indentation in so it's easier to cut. And then while it's still wet, we go around the house with the craft knife um, just to put in the indentation. Because what I want is I don't want to sit on top of the uh, flooring. I want it to obviously go inside of it. So this is why we cut it out. If you're happy with it sitting on top, then just you don't have to do this step. Just glue it on top of the, uh, the stones. Now, while that's drying, uh, we'll just give it a quick test fit just to make sure it all fits and everything's snug um, because obviously with the DAS it won't shrink much or messing around so you're just making sure it will fit before you do it and there's going to be enough room for a tree now you've seen me use woodland scenics um, trees before these are the ones that they come in a pack of 12 uh, for around 14 pounds so the biggest ones that they do they're around seven inches tall i cut a few twigs off and then what i'm doing is i'm making the uh, the stem of the tree or the trunk of the tree however whatever you want to call it a little bit fatter so all i do is just roll some round i don't really think about it at this point i just make it so it's smoothed out and it's a nice size until i've covered most of the tree that you're going to see put a bit of shape in it um, and what I do then is I get a wire brush and I brush it down all the way around it. This is to just get some subtle sort of barky textures on it. Um, don't go over the top with that. Um, and then I get a sculpting tool and just draw the lines in. Um, if you wanted, you could go to Absolute Town on this. Um, I was not, I was just putting a bit of detail on it because I wanted it to be a fatter trunk with it being quite a feature to this model, but I wasn't going over the top. So all you have to do is keep drawing them down and get a finer one and then do your finer lines in between or round or whatever sort of tree you're going for you can emulate. This is just a generic fantasy tree and I'm doing it as quick as I can. So once you've got that far, it should start to look like that. Now, to sort of soften up some of them harsher details and put a bit more texture in, I just give it a good old wallop with the wire brush. This is to just put some dints and imperfections in it that are a bit random and a bit... They just make, make break it up a little bit, stop it from being so perfect. And I, I really do like this technique for getting some really rough and uh, subtle textures to the back, as you can see there. Now, 
we'll just paint it so i spray it gray with a gray primer and then i spray it from a with an ivory can from above um, if you want to know where you get an ivory can from it's a montana gold can i don't know anywhere else where i can get ivory cans from then i mix up military shader and strong tone wash from army painter and then i bath that all over so you get a nice really greeny dark brown finish to the overall tree this just highlights all the extra details that we've put on the tree um, again if you don't have to do this step if you're doing it really quickly um, you could just you know um, use the brown tree that it is but i just like to put a bit of extra detail on it with it being quite a show piece And I just dry brush it with ivory. Um, I'm going for like quite of a, a bit of a, a beachy tree look. Um, I kind of like the white and green contrast. Um, that's why I've done it. Uh, but dark, really dark grey trees do look nice as well, like brownie grey. Now, trees. You all know that I've been working on trying to make trees as quicker and as cheap and as nice as possible. Now, I've been using seafoam for a very long time. The problem with seafoam is it's expensive. It takes a hell of a long time to make a tree, especially up to about three or four hours a tree, depending on size. Uh, and again, it's not that strong unless you dip it in latex, which has more cost, which has more time. This is a new quick way that I've put together and I'm, I'm selling it. Okay, guys, I've called it my tree foliage set. As you can see, it's a natural moss material. Um, it, it's gives you a really nice canopy tree look just because of the nature of the product uh, we do sell it for very very cheap uh, on the geek gaming page um, and we also sell it with this contactor glue which all hobby glues i've tried that say the tacky don't really work as good as they should uh, this is an industrial strength glue it is acetone based so it's quite strong smelling um but it works it's the same glue that you get in your spray cans like if you've ever used uh, carpet sprays in a can and you get that really nasty webby stuff it's that but you've got more control with it and it's as you can see it's, it's quite sticky and awful to work with but as soon as you've got that on the tree you, you tear off uh, some of your tree moss or tree foliage set whatever you want to call it and it just sticks instantly now all you've got to do is peel it apart and pull it apart quite fine like you would with any sort of polyfiber or however you normally make trees and just stick that on the branches and we are going to be flocking this later another good thing about this product though you don't have to you could just hit that with a spray can if you want and get some really nice looks with it if you're going for like an autumn style tree it looked quite good like that and it makes very nice pine trees because it's got little ferns all over it so it's it's a great material it's very cheap and it makes making trees very quick so if you'd like to buy it do check geek gaming below guys where you can get everything showed in this video and we are having a, 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 a summer deal at the moment 15 percent off on orders over 35 pounds um, this pack uh, that we sell of, of the uh, tree foliage set, uh, a pack like that will do around 12 trees depending on size and how full you make them. Um, I just love it because it's cheap and it means I can make trees very quick because trees for me make or break a table. And look at how easy that is and look at how nice it looks and we've not even got the flocking on yet. Now for applying flock, I'm going to the Old Faithful, which is the Yacht Varnish from Paint Factory. If you do want to buy this can, we do have it in my Amazon affiliates. Um, they're very cheap cans and it's far cheaper than like remount and spray glues. Okay, uh, very good alternative that works. Now I'm going to be using my 2-in-1 fine foam flocks over this. It's a fine foam and coarse foam mixed together and I'm sprinkling it on to get different textures. Now depending on what style of tree you're doing, you could use the 2-in-1, you could use my sawdust range, you could even sieve the 2-in-1 fl flocks over the top. Because of the shape of the canopy material underneath, it gives you some awesome different textures however you do it. Now that's it just with the 2-in-1 sprinkled on um, and then what you do once that's sort of dry is uh, brush off all the messy bits off the branches and the uh, trunk of the tree and just tidy it up now at th this moment it might be slightly delicate but once we've sealed this completely with some watered down pva glue and varnish um it's like plastic guys it will take some hammering now while you're waiting up for all that varnish and the uh, contactor glue to to cure what we need to do is um prime the house ready for friday's video on painting it so what we're doing is i'm sort of doing all the base coats so i'm spraying it black i'm spraying the roof red uh, i'm spraying all the walls gray and where there's more uh 
plaster work I'm spraying it with a sand color now this is very messy and it's not perfect and I suppose if I was to use an airbrush I could get it a lot cleaner but this doesn't matter the stones on the second floor are going to be more visible because they're not as under as much canopy um, so I will be using a lighter gray to paint that anyway okay now once that's uh, while that's drying you need to be painting up the base now i'm dry brushing that with like a brownie gray and then i go on to like a really sort of sandy gray i'm not going over the top with this contrast at the moment and then from that i go to like an ivory dry brush over the entire thing uh, just to tie the different grays together in patches so you're getting some difference in stone colors and then what we do after that is we go in with some bone and some like ready browns and we pick out a couple of different stones um, just so it's a bit more interesting to look at um, this can take some time depending on how small the the stones are that you've done uh, but it does make a massive difference when you're looking at it especially when you use the same colors on the house and tie all the stones in which you'll see on friday right now once you've finished doing all that um stone and work what we're going to be doing is putting some uh, black wash on there now this is black wash mixed with ink and uh, matte varnish from Vallejo it could be anyone though um, and I water that down quite a bit and make a wash with it the reason I've used uh, a matte varnish in there is just to strengthen up the top of the DAS uh, DAS is not the strongest thing ever um, so we just had a bit of varnish in which makes it a lot stronger uh, I'm just painting all the middle black um, just so when we stick the house on there's not gonna be any white bits exposed and showing off and then we use some of the Lux APS basing glue, which is a fast drying polymer glue. Uh, and then we sprinkle on some of the arid earth for some soil and dirty gravelly textures. Um, we super glue the tree on there, um, get that ready for sticking in place. Uh, and we put some more base ready around the base of the tree. We spray on my Mod Podge solution, which is a mixture of varnish and uh, PVA glue and water. We apply the Luke's APS 2 in 1 flocks, which have already been sieved just to simulate a similar texture to what we've got on the tree. Um, and then once it's done, that's what you're going to be left with. Again, this is a whip, guys. So on Friday, you'll see me finishing off the house. We'll be applying a few bushes and a few tufts and finishing it off. I hope you liked the video, guys, and I'll see you on Friday. So guys, I hope you've liked this video. I will see you on Friday for where we finish it all off. Um, and yeah, not much to say. I've said quite a lot in that video. Um, but if you'd like to buy any of the products used, check the links below and remember 15% off summer sale. I just thought we've launched quite a few new products recently and I thought, you know what? Let's bang a 15% sale on. I've not really done a sale since I've started in the 12 months that we've been doing this. So I thought it's time to do one. All right, guys, so check all the stuff out below. If you're wanting to buy anything from America, um, check the links below to my American affiliate. They also stock most of the stuff there, and they're about to put another order in as well for a lot of the new ranges. So check them out as well. Other products that I've used are in my Amazon affiliates. But I'll see you on Friday for the next video when hopefully my ears have healed up. <laughs> I slept on them and I, I damaged them. They're a bit sore. But yes, <laughs> I'll see you on Friday for the painting of the Tabletop World House where it all come together and look really nice. Love, love, love. <laughs>